Hey Carly, did you see those comments about the UG22 on our videos? As a matter of fact, I did with this, but we don't have a UG22 wow. here. We would have to film in Germany. Well, hey, how about we go to Germany then? I can't, I gotta answer calls and hold the fort down here. Oh man, okay, well, do me a favor, call Jorg and let him know that we're coming. Okay. Let's go. Hey Jorg. Yes, hello Charlie. Yeah, I'm waiting for Ritesh, but he's coming. Bye. Hi, York. Ritesh. Hi, Ritesh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, finally. Yeah. Come in. I will show you the Rosa. So the new UG22, what are we doing today? Yeah, we will roast a batch on, uh, with a recipe, so you can follow the whole steps. Perfect. Well, I'll let you get to it, and I'm going to go step out, okay? Yeah, great. So we are at the moment we are in a preheating mode or a between batch mode, both is the same. And I would like to show you all the options we have. We have some buttons from F1 to F10 and I would like to explain to you uh, what happens when. Yeah. So the first side is on F1. You can see the whole uh, roaster and uh, they have shown the vacuum system, the pressure system and uh, all the drives. Each drive is red or green, which might means it operates or is off. And that's uh, either way. Also, you can see all the values from the supply air, from the product air, rate of rise, exhaust air, and pressure. On the second page, when you press F2, you will find the actual recipe, which is here on now. You can see that preheating is green. That means the first uh, position is preheating the roaster, until the product temperature from 180 degrees and all other values you can see on the bottom of the display. Uh, the, the next page is F3. It shows uh, actual values from the, from the term elements. So here is no real great graph to see at the moment because we don't have charged any coffee in. F4 is an important point. Uh, you can uh, save all your recipes there. 40 you can uh, save on our roaster and you also can copy them. So if there is a similar profile, you can make a copy. You can see that on the bottom. You can copy, for example, the Guatemala to recipe number four, and you can make some changings in that recipe. And so you have a brand new recipe really quick prepared. Five is empty, so there is nothing. Six as well. And number seven is already prepared for the faulties. So now at the moment you can see there is information recipe temperature is reached that means our preheating was successful and we have charged already the beans and we were able to roast now page number eight this is now really important you can change many settings there but some of them for sure are hidden and you need a password for that which you can get from our company for sure but even we should talk about that before before we change something in the setting for example, the rate of rise you can choose between 15 seconds, 30 seconds and 60 seconds without a password for sure. Because this is a daily changing you would like to change and you can do that directly without a password. If you press a second time on the F8, you will find an additional hidden page which allows you to make some changes, but this is only allowed without, with a password in case of any changing of the options Maybe you would like to add a frequency converter or a green coffee loader later. We can install it in this way together with Probot. And the final F8 hidden page uh, shows also some maximum temperatures which are not allowed to change by you. Even let's talk about that together and we can change it together if necessary. Number 9 is empty, empty. and number 10 is only able to, to open when you press F1 and then F10 again. This is something for the technician. Uh, this page allows us to see some operating situations and some speeds. So in case of a problem, we will ask you to press the uh, two buttons we've spoken about, F1 and F10. And so we can see from wherever we are, what is on off to get the first idea in case of any problems. So we have already reached the temperature to roast the profile and we have already charged the beans and now I can drop in the beans uh, to start the process.
So, uh, process is started. That means we have uh, left uh, the preheating process. We are now in the first level of the uh, recipe. We have 12 steps. We will proceed now step by step. Uh, that means uh, we will roast with our burner with a supplier temperature from at the moment 470 degrees until we will reach the first point from 150 degrees and then we go to the next level from the profile uh, until the end we have reached the final temperature we would like to have that will take a while what we can do in uh, I can try to explain a bit more about the recipe in that meantime uh, we can change uh, settings different settings for sure the supply air which means nearly the power of the burner we can roast in two different ways let's start it in this way you can start with a burner power or with a supply air you can roast with 50% of the burner power or a fixed temperature you would like to have the fixed temperature is always the same gas pressure can always change a bit which has an effect on the burner power due to our modulating uh, burner we have always the same supply air temperature in this case 470 degrees which depends a bit on the capacity of the batch uh, and the beans and what temperature you would like to have uh, we can change the drum pressure uh, we would recommend to roast with 120 pascal in a regular way it's a bit different than some other roasters uh, and you also can change the drum speed uh, both of these options drum pressure and uh, speed are options you can buy it's not standard yeah in the meantime I can try to explain you something more about the roaster a special part from the UG is the uh, aroma wheel and I have an example here from the aroma wheel which is on the top of the roaster uh, in the exhaust air that means uh, we have two, uh, three different ways to adjust it the regular way is the espresso 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 means it's a quick roast the quick airflow we have an extern adjustment and an aroma wheel about the setting I will explain now a bit more the regular way as I told you is the espresso that means the main gate is open to the front that means the whole air goes through the drum not the whole air but more than the main air as you can see on the bottom maybe when it is here installed like this is also some air around the drum that means the main air goes through the drum and a bit around the drum and I can change with changing the position of that aroma wheel the airflow direction the airflow is always the same because somewhere is always something open at the moment we have extern now on the top you can read that on the aroma wheel on the top now extern means everything uh, the main air which was before through the drum goes now around the drum that means the main air goes around the drum and the bit you can see the three holes here goes through the drum that will reduce the airflow inside of the drum additional and finally we have the option to change to aroma to aroma that means both ways are nearly closed yeah? even just three holes to so that the airflow is not blocked which is not allowed so we need a minimum air pressure in the system to have a little airflow but uh, now with with aroma is nearly closed that should be done after first crack because if there is something uh, if you suck out the chefs and the holes are closed you can imagine you will collect all the chefs here and they will be not sucked out and then you've got another problem this is operating of the aroma wheel and we will be right back before we are drop out the beans again
But in the meantime, uh, when the coffee is cooling down, I can explain a bit more about the uh, recipes. I uh, started already about, uh, talking about that. Uh, as you can see in the display, we have 12 steps. We start always with a preheating or between batch automatic mode. And we will get an alert when we have reached the right temperature to start the recipe. In this case, we have adjusted it to 180 degrees. And you can hear maybe the burner is still adjusting the temperature, the right temperature. That's the reason why you can hear the fire in the bag. And when we got the right temperature, we will get the information. Uh, there's a remaining time at the moment. That means we have reached the temperature. And to be sure, and it switched off already, to be sure that we are in the right temperature, it, uh, the computer or the roaster does control or take care about the stable temperature. So when we have reached that, we can start the process. Uh, that means the first level until the 12th level, we can make uh, the adjustment for the, for the profile. It depends always on the coffee, you know. And if you would like to make some changing, you can save that and uh, you can create a new recipe. And this is stored in the 40 recipes and you can always load it again to re-roast the batch in the same way. Thank you for watching us and uh, hope to see you soon and if you have any comments uh, you can write down below some information and some questions if you want. Bye and see you soon.